Hosting the World Cup is a huge deal, as the festival of football takes residency in one country, or two, every four years for a summer of football, showcasing the greatest talent the world has to offer. Hosting the World Cup can also give one team a home advantage, something that can play a big factor in a country's performance on the grandest footballing stage. Since the tournament began in 1930, the World Cup has been won six times by the hosts, with the first being Uruguay in the first tournament, when they beat Argentina in the final. This year's host nation is Russia, who are in Group A alongside Saudi Arabia, Egypt and Uruguay. But how much has home advantage helped in the past eight tournaments? Let's take a look at how the nine host nations performed on their own soil. 1986, Mexico. It was the second time they had hosted the World Cup, and the Green of Mexico were placed in Group B alongside Paraguay, Belgium and Iraq. They would play all three of their group games in the famous Azteca Stadium, kicking off with a 2-1 victory over Belgium, with Hugo Sanchez's strike proving to be the winner. A draw with Paraguay then a win over Iraq would see the host cruise into the knockout stages where they would come up against Bulgaria. In front of 114,000 people inside the Estadio Azteca, Mexico would triumph once again, cruising through to the quarterfinals as 2-0 winners and setting up a clash with West Germany. Sadly it would be the end of the road though and in their first game away from the Azteca, they would lose 4-1 on penalties to the eventual runners-up. This was Mexico's greatest ever World Cup, equaling their performance from 1970 when they also reached the quarters on home soil proving that being the host does have its benefits. 1990 Italy This was the first time the Azuri had hosted the tournament since 1934, when they both hosted and won the World Cup, but things would be much tougher 56 years later. Italy would be unfazed by the group stage though, navigating it in true Italian fashion by not conceding a goal, winning 1-0, 1-0 and 2-0 against Austria, USA and Czechoslovakia. In fact, they wouldn't concede a goal until the semi-finals, first beating Uruguay 2-0 and then the Republic of Ireland 1-0 and it looked like the horse had the metal to go all the way. Sadly though, the Italian dream died in the semis, losing on penalties to Argentina following a 1-1 draw. Italy ended the tournament in third place, beating England in the playoff after their penalty hard against the Germans. Since hosting in 1990, Italy haven't even applied to stage the World Cup, but at this rate it might be their best chance of qualifying. 1994 USA Another team that won't be in Russia this summer, USA played host to their first ever World Cup in 1994, staging a soccer extravaganza for a country that doesn't even call the game its proper name. They were in Group A up against Romania, Switzerland and Colombia and just scraped through as one of the third best placed teams, back when there were only 24 teams at the World Cup. In the first knockout round, the Americans would come up against Brazil and inside that included the likes of Dunga and Romario. It would be the end of the road for the USA, losing one little at the Samba Stars, who went on to win the whole damn thing. So at least the Americans can take some pride in the fact that they got knocked out by the eventual champions. The United States are hoping to host the tournament in 2026, launching a joint bid alongside Canada and Mexico. 1998 France As we said earlier, the host nation has won the World Cup on six occasions, and the last time it happened was at France 98. The Blues topped their group with three wins against Denmark, South Africa and Saudi Arabia, coasting into the knockout stage where they would first dispose of Paraguay, but only just, coming out 1-0 victors in extra time as the South Americans very nearly caused an upset. They would then need penalties in the quarterfinals, just edging past Italy on spot kicks 4-3. In the semis they had to come from behind against Croatia, making their journey to the final quite an arduous one, but the trophy decider was rather straightforward, blitzing Brazil 3-0 to win their first and only World Cup. Home advantage almost served them well at Euro 2016 too, losing in the final to Portugal and the Giant Moths. 2002 South Korea and Japan A co-host situation means double the work for me, as South Korea and Japan teamed up to host the 2002 edition of the grandest tournament in football. We will go in alphabetical order and start with Japan, who are joining Group H alongside Belgium, Russia and Tunisia. The co-host topped their group with two wins and a draw, meaning they would face Turkey in the next round. However, their tournament would end here, losing 1-0 to the Turks who went all the way to the semi-finals, so Japan's second ever World Cup appearance ended at the first knockout round, which is the furthest they've ever gone, also reaching the same stage in 2010 in South Africa. As for South Korea, they had a much more impressive showing on home soil. Like Japan, they topped their group with 7 points, beating Portugal and Poland and drawing with the USA. Finishing top of the group did South Korea no favours, taking on Italy in the first knockout round, but amazingly, the hosts were able to prosper, knocking out the Azuri after a 2-1 victory in extra time. Next up was another European outfit in Spain, but yet again South Korea went on the march, knocking out the future world champions on penalties. However, South Korea's amazing journey would come to an end in the semi-finals, losing to Germany 1-0. 
Unsurprisingly, this is South Korea's greatest ever performance at a World Cup, and it was actually only the first time they'd made it out of their group, showing just how important it was playing on home soil. 2006 Germany It looked for all the world that this was Germany's tournament. They had home advantage, as well as one of the best teams out of the 32 that had qualified. Escaping in the group stage was relatively straightforward for the Germans, winning all three games including a 4-2 thriller over Costa Rica on the opening night of the competition. A Lucas Podolski brace allowed Jurgen Klinsmann's side to dispose of Sweden, and in the quarterfinals they knocked out Argentina on penalties in what was a thrilling encounter. However, despite being one of the tournament favourites, Germany were knocked out in the semi-finals, losing 2-0 in extra time to eventual winners Italy. Despite defeat, it was the dawning of a new era for German football, who in the past 12 years have gone on to become a real powerhouse in international football once again. 2010 South Africa This was the first ever time the World Cup was held in Africa, and South Africa had the privilege of being the host, providing the most annoying instrument in World Cup history in the Vuvuzela. Who remembers this horrible sound? Annoying, right? But anyway, South Africa in Group B alongside Uruguay, Mexico and France, a very tough group for Bafana Bafana. We saw a bit of everything from South Africa in the groups, an inspiring draw with Mexico, a disappointing defeat to Uruguay and a truly remarkable victory over former World Cup winners France. Four points wasn't enough to make it through the group stage though, and South Africa's World Cup journey was a short one, and there's a very good chance the same could happen to Russia this summer. In 2014, Brazil. While Germany looked like champions in waiting in 2006, the World Cup in Brazil might as well already have had the host name inscribed on the trophy, that's how obvious it seemed that they would win their 6th World Cup in their own country. After 11 minutes of their opening game though, they were 1-0 down to Croatia, but managed to turn it round and claim a victory on match day 1. They would top the group with 7 points, going on to beat Chile on penalties in the first knockout round, then Colombia 2-1 in the quarterfinals. However, a back injury in that game to Talisman Neymar threatened to put the champagne on ice, with their key player ruled out for the rest of the tournament due to injury. Then came the semi-final against Germany, where things simply fell apart for Brazil. Not only were they beaten, they were embarrassed, being thumped 7-1 by a rampant Germany side who went on to win the final 1-0 against Argentina. Brazil had failed in front of their own fans, and the scars will still be there for all to see in Russia this summer. So that's how the past 9 host nations have performed at their respective World Cups. Let us know how you think Russia will get on this year in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.